Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's comic book review. We were at Amber, who's going to be reviewing a few books. She didn't read them all yet, I believe, so she has no, a few books yet. she's going to review. And then we're going to get back to me with a few independents and DC comics. Yes. So I'm going to show you quickly, I already showed you the covers, but I'm going to show you which ones I haven't read, and then I'll do a quickie on what I have read. And some that I haven't completely read yet, but then I'll do a quick review. I haven't read this one yet, because I just got it today. I think it's going to be pretty good considering I like Buffy. And vampires. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have not yet read any of my Lady Death covers. That cover that's but metallic is sweet. Yeah, I'm is. going to read them. And you will see them most likely next week. As you guys know, I've already reviewed this with Chris, so I won't re-review re it. However, a couple weeks ago I did the first three issues, or two of the three, because I did the first before. Anyway, I'm doing the fourth in the Buffy series. From what I read, I really liked it, and I would definitely recommend it if you like vampires and are kind of a Buffy fan. However, while I was at the comic book store, I heard somebody tell me that Buffy has completely changed. So as you go through the series, yeah. there's going to be a point when you're not going to want to read it anymore. Hopefully I don't get to that. Yeah, the now. seasons, they keep ch it's like a TV show sort of, the comic book. Yeah. They seasoned it and people are getting sick of certain seasons. Mm -hmm. No, it's it's not that. They said that she's not just staking No, she is in, in the new issues? <laughs> I think she's hooking mm -hmm. up with them. Oh. That's... No, no, no. No? She's oh. getting them? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. okay Hooking anyway. up with them of all things? <laughs> I'm sorry. Is funny. sex the only thing on your mind? No. Okay. I'm thinking of Twilight when I think of that. My Buffy was not Keep Twilight. that off my review. Move on. <laughs> I could do an entire episode just talking about Twilight if you want. But you I won't. Go ahead and try. You see if you guys want that, put a comment down there. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> anyway. You go on Amber's side and let her do some talking. Going in on Fathom. God rest his soul. Um, what? Nothing. Just keep going. <laughs> what? No, we're talking about Twilight. Go ahead. Um, anyway, I love the artwork. Sadly, the guy's no longer around, which My is turn very sad. My turn. Rest in peace. He was a great artist. Yeah. He did amazing work with Superman. I only have right now issues one, two, three, and five. Missing four. Or six. I'm sorry. Six. Four and five. Um, yeah, four and <laughs> five. Um. And one. No, I've got one. I'm getting all mixed up, but whatever. I'm this definitely is what you get when you only have one hour of sleep. I'm oh. getting all of these because the story behind it is really good. This is by Maybe. Top Cow. Just mention this. It is okay. by Top Cow. Which is a faction of Image. I buy the Top Cow. Which is a faction of Image. Okay. It's an Image comic. Um. Pretty much it's about her, how kind of her life started, she says it started when she arrived in San Diego. She didn't know how she got on the boat that had been missing for 10 years and is now just putting into port. She has no clue how she got there. But somebody adopts her and now her family that live in the sea want her back. J.D. Smith was awesome. Man. She was in an underworld. Not underwater. Underwater. Sanctum. And a torpedo hit it. And that's when a huge battle came through. She called it the angel versus demon. I don't know really which one was which. Yeah, isn't everything angels versus demons but nowadays? Mm. They touched her and she survived. Now she's got the entire U.S. Navy trying to find out everything they can about her. Because she, her entire body, her um, life system, her lungs, her brain, everything is not normal. And they're trying to figure out who she is and how she lives and everything like that. The last issue, there's so much of a gap in between number three to number six that I can't really go into detail on this yet because I don't know what happened in between. But she's now with one of the groups and she's trying to prove herself to the leader. Hmm. Now. That's a 90s series right there, Supernatural. Chris said it's not that good of a series. I just started really? collecting in '98, so I'm being. But I'll tell you the truth, I I wouldn't have got, I wouldn't buy it now if it came out again. 
I saw that these were number one through four, and all four issues were there. And you know me when it comes to Super. The only, in my opinion, the only cool person in that entire lineup is Ghost Rider. So, I went through each and every one of these after I bought them, because I saw they have masks in them. I didn't know that before I bought it. There's a big but, splatter and it says free mask. Well, I didn't read that. I looked at Supernaturals and who was on the cover. Anyway, inside number one, you have a mask of gargoyle. Okay. It's in two pieces. You can't really take the mask out without ruining the comic. Oh, a loophole. Yeah, there's a loophole, but I'm not going to do it because I'm not ruining the comic. If you like this, if you don't like the series, you'll see how fast you will. Then you have, um, what's her name? Santana. Santana. Also in two pieces. In the third one, I got, because you can get five different masks, but you only get four because there's four series. I got the wolf man. You'd have to buy an extra one of one to get the extra Figure fifth. it out. But on the front, it says Halloween mask inside. Collect all five, including the rare Ghost Rider mask. And don't you know it? I got the rare Ghost Rider mask. That's cool. Nice. So. Pip hooray. Now I'll do a complete review on what the actual comic's about later on. I didn't actually. I look get forward to seeing yet. you not like it. Anyway, guys. No offense. Anyway, guys. That's my rundown for now, and I will give you a better one later. <laughs> anyway. Hey, they gotta have a fan Thanks base. I mean, people bought them, apparently, obviously, so. Teach How much did you pay per Teach comic? Teach Dollar? Uh-huh. Dollar. You want to say that again? To each their own. Uh, to each so their own. So be somebody out there I who likes it. them. Amber. That's like me. I get the runaways. Most people don't like the runaways. I love them. I think it's, it's, it's the runaways. Oh. I got more runaways, guys. Yeah, I'll be doing a complete yeah. review on that later on. But I'm not even going to show them in this thing. I now have like a stack this big. She's almost close to the stack I have a spawn. Not yeah. close yet, but close Your enough. Your comic collection is growing. I skip a little bit. Now, I talked about this two months ago. Yeah, and IDW. Uh, this is something that IDW is releasing. Over the next two months, February and March, uh, and yes, it involves something I like, zombies. I love zombies. Part one, which starts the I whole thing off, infestation. It all begins right here. The zombies, it, it comes from, now see, I ordered Zombies vs. Robots number zero, cool. which is the prequel to this, which Midtown made a mistake with, but we'll get into that in a little bit when we get into DC Comics and you guys will know yeah, why. So how was this? No, really good. The zombies invade and they want they want freedom. So somehow they sneak, they get, they bite one of the, the tech guys and apparently, oh wait, maybe you would like this. There's vampires in it. Don't mix zombies with vampires. Oh no, no, no. Did it work? She's a vampire. Did the vampires kill the zombies? No, the vampire was bit by a zombie and worked with the zombies. Ew! See? Sounds interesting. I don't want to know. No. Thank you. And basically her her body or her parts Ew. were blown all into the scattered universes. So she's blown up into millions of pieces and the only way to put the, bring the zombies back is to get her body pieces back. And guess what? Ew. They're in the... You're welcome. They're <laughs> in the G.I. Joe Star Trek Transformers and Ghostbusters universes, Whoa. and actually, pretty cool. There's a Amber, Amber. Thank you. They have little pictures from the four got universes that the pieces were sent to. And actually, if you want really, if you want it in depth, the, in the back after the actual first part, they have small previews. See, first Transformers, then Star Trek. Then G.I. Joe, which has really good artwork, and then finally the Ghostbusters. All leading. And then in the back, you have a nice checklist with the letter X, with the first issue X'd out. See, we have next week, we have the Transformers. The week after that, Star Trek Part 1. Then the conclusion of Transformers. Then the conclusion of Star Trek. Then G.I. Joe Part 1. 
then Ghostbusters 1, then the final part of G.I. Joe, then the final part of Ghostbusters, which all concludes in Infestation number 2, which closes this entire series off. I wish I had the Did one. Did I already say you? Too many times. Way too many times. Oh, there were zombie robots. Somehow the zombies infected the robots. Yeah, yeah, no, the, the vampire woman actually infected one of the robots and that's how the Transformers... Not Bumblebee, right? That's cool. No, well, the Transformers aren't here yet. That's going to be in their in their two-part infestation, not here. It better not be Bumblebee. I don't think they'll infect Bumblebee. Anyway, uh, the you patches... Talk anyway, so him being able to say... Yeah, I wish I had the prequel for you guys in the comics you can talk. I wish I had the prequel for you guys. I'm going to try to order it, and it'll be here in two weeks, because next week's batch I already ordered, and so I'll stick it in the following week's batch. Um, looking forward to seeing how this series plays out. Next week, Transformers. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'm not going to be getting the patches, because I love Midtown Comics. Don't get me wrong. The patches are a dollar each. Here's the problem. You buy the patches. Anything that's apparel, automatically $7.99 for your shipping. I am not paying $10 for two patches. No thank you. So, I won't be getting the patches. And the patches aren't really worth it anyway. No, yes. but we'll be talking through the radio. He didn't talk. We're talking you. about, you are going by the movie. The movie stunk. I loved the movie. Of course you did. <laughs> Moving on, speaking of Spawn. Actually, it's been announced that Todd McFarlane apparently is far behind. So, um, actually I heard this from... Um, uh, Dakin, um, uh, uh, he's one of the, my YouTube subscribers, really awesome guy. He actually has all of the Spawn comics already. Wish I had his collection. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, turns out McFarlane's a little bit behind, so over the next three months there's going to be a bi-weekly release, or two a month. So uh, I guess this is the first of this month. Uh, Spawn 201, involving vampires. Vampires! Mm -hmm. <laughs> well... So Spawn is trying to find out, Jim is trying to find out who he is. A vampire? No, he's not a vampire. Uh -huh. He's Spawn. And the head vampire, this head, this master, I you don't know who his name is at first, um, has a case that Spawn was going for as well. And in the case is all about Jim, his past life, like what he's, his entire past is in this case. And he wants to, and he knows about everyone's life except Spawn. So he takes the case. And you find out uh, towards the end what his name is, and his name is Blood, not B L O O D, B L U D D. Mm. So you're gonna find out more about him. We're gonna find out more about him in the next issue. In the next issue, and it turns out him and Clown are actually in cahoots. Uh, so you find out next issue who he is, and also you find out that Jim has a healing ability. Ability, yeah, because he actually heals this boy who's sick. So actually, here, the, the coming attractions are a major new villain comes into the pages of Spawn. As the return of a previous Spawn big enemy has re-entered the new Spawn's life, Blood emerges as the leader of the Vampire Clan. We knew that already from this issue. Blood teams up with Clown to destroy the new Spawn as his alter ego, Jim, gets more and more attracted to being the, globe, the, new, the new global messiah, meaning because he could heal people. Well, let me just interrupt for a second. Yeah. There's one thing I forget to mention from X-23. Um, there was a section where she was trying to find out about her mother. That's how the previous issue ended. In this issue, she finds out that there's a book about her entire past, her entire life. Wow, a lot a of journal. books going around with lies. But mm -hmm. it's not about her mom. There's some about her mom, but not really. It's mainly about her life. I forgot to mention that, but yeah, there it is. Yeah. Anyway, the only problem I have with this, I don't care that they're going to put vampires with Spawn. It's actually um, not that good. far. It's it, good. It's good. It's good. It's good. But it's not that. The, my problem is this. Okay, maybe it's because I'm so used to the artwork from the beginning. I love Todd McFarlane's artwork. Okay, I'm going to throw that out right now. I think Todd McFarlane writes an awesome story and draws an awesome comic. The writer, the drawer of this book, I'm going to try to say his name. McFarlane actually did the cover, but he didn't draw the comic. The actual comic artist is Shman Kondramsky. Shmani. Shmani. Okay. No offense. No. I don't Simon. like it. 
Where do you see Simon? Where do you see Simon? You show me Simon. Oh, artist, right here? Yeah. Si so that's Simon. Simon. That's Simon. Yeah. Uh, no. Simon. No, the Z is silent. It's Simon Kodrowski. It's possible. Actually. I don't care. I don't like the way he draws Spawn. After reading all those old issues, no offense. Spawn isn't this black and white. It looks black and white, really. It's, it's colored, but it's dark. I'm talking super dark. Even when it's bright, it's dark. This is not compared to Mc, uh, maybe I'm maybe I was I, I might have maybe I've been spoiled by McFarlane's artwork, but this just doesn't look like the you can't artwork. You can see the blood. <laughs> no. The whole comic's kind of dark. It, it is. It's dark. Yeah. It's dark. Maybe I've been spoiled by the McFarlane artwork in the very beginning of the series, but. My only complaint, and McFarlane didn't even write the story. If you look here, it says, The plot of Spawn is by Todd McFarlane and Will Carlton, but the writer of this story is Will Carlton only, not Todd McFarlane. Mm -hmm. And why? Because Todd McFarlane's too busy working, because I was told also by um, my friend who collects, um, uh, what do you call it? Spawn, by the way. I will put his name in an annotation right now. Go check out his site. Awesome. He's also a comic reviewer. I'm sorry. I just can't remember the name. I can't remember how to pronounce the name off the top of my head. If, I'll tell you the truth. If I had that right in front of me now, I'd remember how to say it like that. That's how slow I am today. But Todd McFarlane, McFarlane is doing Haunt, which he actually suggested to me, and I am going to be looking into Haunt. I will be looking into Haunt. There's only two story arcs I missed. That's two trade paperbacks. That's a lot easier than Spawn trade paperbacks. That's a lot of trade paperbacks. So I will be looking into Haunt actually, because if Todd McFarlane's doing it and it's as good as Swan, it's going to be a blockbuster. He's got fangs! No, he doesn't. He has sharp teeth. He has fangs. Look. Two long fangs. And yeah, they, they go on the bottom too? No, 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 no. These are longer than the rest of them. There's two fangs. Swan's going to be a vampire. No, somebody. he isn't. No. Yes, he is. I won't. Is he He's going to kill the vampires like Wolverine did, only he won't get bitten this time. Anyway, remember how I was telling you guys this is Midtown's mess up. This is the first ever Midtown mess up, and I don't understand how they did this huge mess up. I ordered Zombies vs. Robots number zero. So they sent me a Z book. The wrong Z book. Zatanna, one shot. I did not order this. I did not want this. Thus, I did not read this. Apparently, uh, but since I have it, might as well say, the first story is about Zatanna, the second story is about Zatanna when she's a teenage girl and she has braces. The end. Waste of my own. <laughs> hey, look. How is this me... a one shot? It's number nine. Oh, I thought it was a one shot they sent me. They sent me the town number one nine. I thought they sent me the one shot. Hmm. She... This is how much I care. I really don't care that they sent me the town number nine. There's two stories, though. Thank you for the correction, though, and That would have looked really silly. I really didn't care. I don't care for the town. You want it? Okay, no, I won't be reading this. I Why? think there's Chucky in this. No, he's not Chucky. Uh, anyway, this I did buy our... Okay, this you is... wouldn't think that's Chucky? You would not think that is Chucky? He's, nah. uh, he's, he's a puppet and he's got a knife. I'm sorry, but that's Chucky. Okay, whatever you say. Anyway, this I did, however, buy, and this is why I thought that was a one-shot. Shazam, one-shot. Basically, Billy and Mary want their powers back, so Mary makes a deal with Blaze, or does she? And Freddy, Shazam, and her Blaze get into have a huge uh, fight. That's the whole issue. Was it good? Eh, it was okay. Basically, Freddy promises Billy and Mary that somehow, some way, he's going to get their powers back. And then it's to be continued in Titans because Osiris shows up in the last page. Um, once again, these are two ninety nine books. If you guys like Shazam at all, I'd say grab it. If not, you don't have to. It's really nothing groundbreaking happened in that one shot. Nothing big. Okay, Action Comics 587. Uh... Once again, I just can't wait for Lex Luthor to be gone. Uh, Luthor finds out that Bruce Wayne is backing Batman and says he's, he's an idiot and a traitor to the human race. And the Joker is in this as well. And basically, Lex Luthor scientist gets pushed into the black hole thing that the black matter... This shows you how interesting... This shows you how interested I am in this story. Um, and he dies and it's Lois... The robot Lois' fault and... Some, for some weird reason, the Joker takes the blame, the end. How is the Joker involved with all that? Huh? I don't know. The Joker has the black matter. 
the Joker has a black okay. And you want to know what sucks, though? I'll tell you one thing that sucks. Like mesh together. One thing that sucks is the artwork is pretty good. It would have been better if it was a Superman story. But the artwork was pretty good. But artwork... Oh, and in the next issue, Lex Luthor meets Larfleas. Who knew? Who knew the Orange Lantern wouldn't make a reappearance in this series before it was over? Two more parts. I can't wait. I can't wait. I want this to be over now. Two more months of this, I just can't. And I hate this cover. No offense, I love Superman, but this is not a cover I'm going to be happy to know about owning. I hate Lex Luthor. Finally, the best comic of the week from uh, DC Comics, Teen Titans 91. More bad stuff happens here. The Teen Titans beat... Uh, Sebastian with his powers, and the doctor, though, get, the, the teacher gets away. The teacher gets away. Mm -hmm. And uh, after this, uh, basically, there's a truce between um, Revenger and Robin. And uh, Superboy and Wonder Girl, big spoiler here, not really, because we knew this was somehow at some point going to happen. They break up. Superboy wants to live a personal life, whereas Wonder Girl also has to lead the team. So it's best they don't see each other, he feels, for a while. And then they leave you off with the last page. Uh, the prequel to Teen Titans number 92 is going to actually happen in a different book. The next crossover will be Red Robin crossing over with Teen Titans. Red Robin's in trouble. And we got to find out. We're going to find out in the next Red Robin, in Red Robin 20, what the trouble is. And then in issue, then we come back to Teen Titans 92 to find out how the Teen Titans are going to help Robin at the end. The artwork, once again, in this series is awesome, and um, I'm enjoying Teen Titans. I, I'm against the fact that Superboy and Wonder Girl broke up, but you never know. Give it a year, give it two years. Usually, people who are meant to stay together, even if they break up, they get back together. So I'm not too upset about it yet, because two to one, they're going to get back together in some future date. Just like Johnny Storm is going to come back because he didn't die. No. Whatever you say, honey. Okay, I have to say this is kind of funny. Okay, somehow a guy Warms was a town thief. number nine. Okay, a guy was a thief, and she wanted to stop him, and she had braces on and couldn't actually say her spells or anything like that, right? So she's running after him, and she falls onto this thing called spell and speak. Yeah, it talks I, I and everything saw that. Like that, right? Yes, so I agree. You did. So she types it out and pushes speak. Her braces turn into a cage to catch the thief. I just, I never got really, in, I never was interested in Zatanna. I, I don't know why they give her her own series and S Superman once again only has like two. I'm not really reading anyway, I just thought that was kind of funny. Yeah. yeah it's like, proud but as I, I okay, sorry, go on, sorry. Dad says, proud as I am of you, dear daughter, I don't know what you were thinking getting involved in such a, I know, Dad, but come on, you have to, what would you have done? People were in danger. It's like, I suppose you were right. You're gonna go. You're going to grow up to be a fine Zitar, Zitana. Yeah, that's their family. But anyway, it was funny. He's like, even if it costs me a fortune in dental bills, <laughs> now let's get back to the doctors. So all in all, I still don't understand how you get Zombies vs. Robots number zero, which I wanted for a dollar. Sorry, honey. Not bad at all. How you get Zatanna number nine out of Zombies vs. Robots number zero? Which now I have to reorder again, but in a way, they, I, that's a three dollar book, and the book I ordered was a dollar. You do the math. I made they they lost money on it, which I feel bad for, but I'll reorder the book, guys, and I will have it on a future review. So wait a minute. Let's take this. The ten and nine, not anybody's order. So we're throwing that out. Not throwing it out, but we're throwing it out of this review. Teen Titans 91, I would absolutely say pick it up. Artwork's great, story's great. The only sad part is Superboy and Wonder Girl break up. Action Comics 897, of course it is. Action Comics 897, everybody, just hang on. Two more issues and Lex Luthor goes bye-bye and we can be happy with Superman again, hopefully, if it's not a bad story. Shazam one shot, I leave up to you guys. It's $2.99. It, if you're a fan of Shazam, check it out. Spawn 201, the story was good. I just can't light the dark artwork and I hope that improves over time although I doubt it because I hear I hear that uh, whatever his last name is is doing the next issue I hope not I hope they get a I, I miss Todd McFarlane anyway IDW's infestation number one awesome can't wait for the next issue I'd say check it out IDW's really do something cool uh, 
Fantastic Four 587, which is the 3 series, the conclusion, the death. I'd say definitely pick it up. If you get a poly bag, open it up. You might be one of those lucky people that gets a signature. If you do, don't tell me because I'm upset. I bought two and I one was I for just collecting purposes. But yeah, Invincible Iron Man 500 was good. But once again, if you don't like stories that jump from one point to another, don't buy it. But it was really good. The team up between uh, Iron Man and Spider Man. Speaking of Spider Man, X Men number seven. Spider Man shows up at the very end. I hate the artwork. And the story, once again, I can't wait for the classic X-Men stories. Not like this and not like Uncanny X-Men, number 532. Continues with the low, but it's alright. Out of the two stories, though, I would suggest X-Men, because no offense, Emma Frost. Um, it, 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 the whole sick thing is kind of wearing thin. X-23, number... Yes, 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 yes. Thank you for letting me say the number. Number 5, she says yes. Ultimate Spider-Man 152, I'm probably going to drop it right after Spider-Man dies. X-Force 4, the last one, I'm dropping it. Wait, Don't waste Spider -Man's your time. Spider-Man's dying? In the Ultimate Universe, not the real Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. And finally, The Traveler number 3, awesome. Loving the Stan Lee tri uh, trios. You go with those first, and then I'll go into these. You're just going to say yes to everything. Just say yes to everything and let it go. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Doop. 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 Okay. Um, yes to most of it. Okay. This is the first for me to say this. I can't tell you yes or no on a few of these because I have not read them. You will find out at a later date whether I'm saying yes or no to them. Okay. But to the fathom, absolutely pick it up. Yes, Once again, still going God rest his soul for my turn. Spawn collection keeps going. And once again, Radical Comics, I'm going to correct myself because I was told I made a little boo-boo. Uh, first off, uh, Last Days of American Crime, I said it was three stars, and I said it was four stars out of five. I'm still saying, I'm going to say an even three, and not an even, I'm going to say a, two, a three and a half to be between the two. A three and a half stars, uh, I say it's up to you. I really didn't like the artwork, the story was good. Check it out if you'd like. Mature readers only, please. This mature. Is mature. There is nudity. Double X. Hot Wire. Absolutely, I would recommend to everyone. Requiem for the de of the yeah. Requiem for yes, the Dead. Up. Absolutely, five out of five. And the new series that's out, Part Three, is coming out next month, which is Deep Cuts. Check out the book. Check out the comics. I absolutely, you said five, six out out five. five out of five. Six out of five for the entire series in whole. Six out of five of the entire series, actually. Not just one book in particular. I love Hotwire. Even Joe says the artwork looks amazing. Yeah, and it looks very realistic. realistic. I love it. This is the kind of artwork that people would love to see. Six in out of five, books. six out of five, six out of five. Absolutely. Six out of five for Hotwire. Three and a half out of five for Last Days of American Crime. Look forward to some more books next week. More spawn. Uh, from possible. Radical. Hopefully more spawn if possible. Uh, there is a Radical book coming out next week uh, that will be um, added into the bunch. Looking forward to reading that book. And um, hope you guys have a great week. I'll keep you guys updated if I happen to get anything spawnish that I would love to throw out there really quickly. Uh, we're going to go now and go do some uh, Brooklyn Boy things and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys on the group site uh, checking us out. Mm -hmm. uh, if not, I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully, I'll get that Spider-Man and Superboy show up. So, catch As you guys later. Say, peace and chicken grease. All right. Later, everyone. Later, guys. Bye.